God of miracles, he has won my battles for me. Hey. God of vengeance, he has won my battles for me. I'm a winner girl. A winner girl. He has won my battles for me. Kai. Do you know that? Hello. Good morning, family. Welcome to the family. If you're new here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. My spirit is hot. My spirit is hot. Okay. Hi fam, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Akbeze and I'm a content creator based in Lagos, Nigeria. You know what? Aside from being a content creator, I am a priest of the Lord and minister of our God. I am here to tell you the good news that Jesus loves you and your life will never be the same if you turn it over to him. I am a living testimony. My mom always used to proclaim this thing and prophesy it. I never knew what it really meant. I am a positive testimony. I am living proof that the Lord is good and kind. My God is good and kind to me. Yo, my spirit is on fire this morning because I woke up by 6 a.m. Like, I woke up unusually because I my alarm is usually for 6.15, but I woke up by 6 and I woke up from a very strange dream, which I'm not even going to get into. But the point is, you know, my spirit was shaken. So immediately, what did I do? I get into the world. And yesterday, you guys saw me. I went to bed so happy and optimistic after going for the Oasis conference, talking about the set time is now and all of that. So during his teaching, Apostle referenced the scripture from 2 Corinthians 6 verse 2. And he was talking about... The said time has come, the acceptable time has come, and the acceptable time is about the help of God and salvation. An apostle broke down how salvation is basically God delivering you from all the negative situations and setbacks and hindrances that are keeping you away from accessing his best for you. He now broke down how salvation has three levels, global salvation, territorial salvation, and personal salvation. Now, um a lot of us focus on personal salvation but i feel like it all kind of is connected because when you're saved then those around you are likely to be saved because you will encourage them your life will be a testimony for them and then when those around you are saved like that the ripple effect keeps spreading to the whole world and um you know i feel like i took that and i don't really think i properly digested it i've been journaling this morning and um you know god saved me for a reason like if you know about my accident if you know about my sobriety journey and all like and my personal salvation was not meant to just be for me it was meant to overflow onto you and i am meant to use this platform to encourage you guys to know that you need to know christ like you need to understand the love that god has for you what he really did by sending his son for you and how much there is in store for you once you accept that love and once you like tap into that grace like it's crazy so long story short why i now thought to myself to vlog because even i myself i'm still wowed by how much god is revealing himself to me like why in november this whole year i won't lie to you i've been so intentional about spending time in the word doing more to get closer to god doing more to commit my life to him doing more to understand what he has called me to do and it's all making sense so excuse me why do i pray for a word today i've already told you guys and shared with you guys how i pray for a word i will just pray over my bible and ask god lead me to a word i'll open the page of my bible whatever page i land on i check the page before it and the page after it i asked the lord for a word today today is 24th of november 2022 and he answered me and excuse me look notice that this is a page i had already received a word from in april anointed april april i already proclaimed was my month of anointing before i even knew that i was going to be anointed that month i was anointed by a prophet called fol of cornerstone and i'll get into that later because that's not, that's not a journey i feel like i need to share yet but that was my first time ever getting anointed with oil and all and my word for this year is you know he has anointed my head with oil my cup runs over now when you say my cup runs over i was thinking that was wealth and prosperity but now i'm realizing that's salvation like he anointed me for salvation he saved me so that i could help others be saved so okay i get to this thing i see anointed april these are the ones i highlighted if you notice um the light red that's the one i did in april and then the dark red is the one i did today they will honor the lord your god who has filled you with splendor you know 
please just read um isaiah 60 61 and 62 because i read 60 because this page you know it's just the middle i wanted to see what is the beginning what is the what does the first page say where does the chapter start and i see i had highlighted this on the second of april 2022 and it's talking about our rise for the you know the glory of the lord is shining on you kings will come to your rising you know your radiance and all and then i wanted to see where the chapter ends and then i you know turn to this page which is 61 and then i start seeing all of this and then excuse me what is the um coloring that's over here the time of the lord's favor has come the set time has come look at this my double portion i hope i'm not disorganized but i'm telling you guys fresh off the press so my double portion this i just finished hallelujah channel that was all about the double portion you will possess a double portion of prosperity double share of honor for all the shame like at the right time i the lord would make it happen you can notice this is light red i had highlighted this in april and now in <laughs> in november god is confirming that the spirit of the sovereign lord is on me he has anointed me to bring the good news like my set time has come the time to favor me has come this is light red i anointed this i highlighted this in april this is dark red i just anointed this this morning i will not keep still i will not stop praying hey 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 <laughs> i can't shout but i need to tell you guys that see it god is speaking god is doing a miraculous thing even the prayers that we said over nigeria i'm going to leave the link to the whole conference i even saw some of my friends that had gone for um day one day two that was day three i went for three is my lucky number so what are the odds by the way that was day three i went for today is day four i'm not going to be able to go because i'm going to abuja and then tomorrow is day five so the conference is still going on i'm going to leave the links to the conference so you can catch up you can tune into everything that's happening but y'all so much is going on do you know even today i was journaling and i i had just told myself i was doing next level prayers while i was journaling and i said oh i have stepped into my new season i arise and then um you know i now go back and i see that the first when i now because i did next level prayers before i started reading the bible so when i now decided to read the bible and i go to the beginning of chapter 60 and i see the first word there is arise i'm like i can't make this thing up i can't make it up i can't make it up hey god hey god <laughs> so yo maybe there's a reason god wants me to be a daily vlogger maybe there's a reason he wants me to keep sharing these things like what i'm discovering because i'm literally just discovering these things even though i've been on this journey in fact i feel like i've been on my faith journey all my life but this year i decided to be committed this year i decided to submit to him actually exercise self-control and obey him everything is just changing dramatically with speed revelation the deep revelations i'm getting it and you can have this access to like there's nothing fantastic i'm doing all i'm doing is just praying god give me a word and i'm going to the word and he's revealing more and more to me you know what i pray for you today that if you don't know jesus that he will reveal himself to you and if you know jesus he will give you deeper insight into who he is and what his call on your life for you is I pray that he will change your story. I pray that your life will be for his glory. I pray that you will know him in a way that nobody will ever be able to contest. I pray that you will spread his good news. Let God use you because we have to We have to win souls. Like Apostle was saying that 8 million people are in the world, but only 2 million or oh, 8 billion people, sorry, are in the world, but only 2 billion people are Christians. And those are just pro like, you know, proclaimed Christians. But it's one thing to be, I'm a Christian, I go to church. And it's another thing to be, I'm a Christian. I actually live by Christ. I follow Christ. I love Christ. I submit to Christ. My life is Christ. Don't worry, we'll be going. Anyways, <laughs> that's how my morning began. I've already told you guys what my plans for the day are. I'm going to be doing um. my Ask Aku shoot. I have a B fly shoot. And then I have the meta event in the evening. So it should be an interesting day. And yeah. See y'all later. Have you guys ever heard of this place before? I don't know why I hadn't. It's 
called Echo Court Complex. So I'm meant to be creating some content around a like kids store that's here, and it's quite interesting. I didn't even know this existed. They don't have many like billboards and things like that. There wasn't even a signboard outside the gates. Like I had to ask them, is this actually a coconut complex? So it's interesting. Next location is at Mega Plaza, also called Century 21 Mall. I can already see their banner. Ronnie's Kid Zone, Red Floor. Honestly, I'm praying I'm going to be able to juggle everything, do the beef fly shoot, do the Ask Aku shoot, then head to the Meta event. And they actually sent a reminder saying that the event is starting on time because they're going to be exhibitions. The event's going to start at 6.30, so I need to leave my house by 6 o'clock. And um, it's currently 3 o'clock. So we pray all goes well. Let's see how it goes. Let's go see what's going on outside. I had to scrap the idea. She wanted us to use the background, but I had to scrap that because there's no time and it was taking so long to set up my background. My backdrop holder is like dysfunctional. So we just have to do what we have to do with a white background. My face was almost stressing me out, but I said, nope, double you're a liar. My healing is permanent. Once my period comes, this thing is going to go. I know it. I believe it. I receive it. You guys already saw this outfit during the birthday shoot vlog. We have one hour for this. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> we're family, we're not people, please. Uh, sorry, Apple's family. <laughs> <laughs> when did you cut your hair? I, I, I cut it after university since like 2019. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, that means you had a wig on, yeah. yeah. I always just wear it. Nice. Hi fam, I didn't even vlog the whole shoot process but we shot the B-Fly looks and now I'm getting ready to film my Ask Aku video which I am currently collating. See my poor face. But I'm healed. Permanently healed. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let me just rush. I just wanted to catch you guys up. So I have like a bunch of screenshots of all the questions. Well, I don't know if people want to stay anonymous, but yeah, you know, I get questions in my DM. I get questions in, you know, on Instagram and on YouTube. And then I, I now try and collate it into categories. So please support the ministry. Okay. Watch the Ask Aku video. See ya. I feel like it's too much to the side. Okay, Hello? you don't. Okay, you want to be in the middle. Yes. What? I don't understand. But what of the bottom of this jacket is round? It's supposed he has to change that whole front he cannot use that front again even if you remove that button that line will still be there okay. this is the lawyer business eh? i don't tire mm -hmm.
honestly if anybody is going to sponsor me now red bull boost hollandia y'all i am so consistent with y'all okay <laughs> those are my energy sources thank god i didn't even leave so quickly i forgot they were coming to reinstall my curtains i'll go and show you guys in a bit so that's happening so i'm using the time to eat because i had already done my makeup and everything it is just to add my finishing touches sonia is getting ready she's gonna be assisting with the vlogging of the event as well always make sure you're across uh, moisturize you never want to look crusty on any kind of should i say like social media or press release <laughs> kechuko is fixing the work that i will not even mention him did they're already mm -hmm. looking better okay fam it's actually the next day and i didn't get to show you guys kechuko's finished work but look at that he did so good with my curtains love it so much because before my curtains used to drag on the floor but now they're gorgeous and he washed them as well and this is what he did in my living room great work contact him patronize him <laughs> and i will see you guys tomorrow love you subscribe jesus loves you more